Oops, I'm in New York. Good morning, my ears are so plugged so I don't know if I'm whispering or I'm yelling really loud. I'm in New York for a lot of exciting things but also only for like less than 24 hours. No, a little bit more than 24 hours, wait, what? So 40, tw not very long. Here's the mission for today. You I have to fly to New York. Done. Give me the points. Good afternoon, Virgin Mercury. Get interrupted by Welcome a person who sounds like Siri. 1404 into Los Angeles. Welcome to JFK International Airport in Terminal 4. Your bags will be dropping on baggage carousel number 11. If you're traveling with a small child or infant and have a car seat or stroller or looking for any oversized items, that can be found at the odd size pickup in the back of the baggage claim hall on the Head to rehearsal for an event. Get my hair and makeup done. Do the event. Possibly go to an after party. Do some emails. Go to sleep. That's what's going on for today. If you don't know what the event is, you'll find out soon. New York, I'm praying to the gods. Please be kind to me. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna need one for my suitcase and one for my emotional baggage. <sighs> I'm just kidding. I would need a U-Haul for the emotional baggage. A quality cool. A quality cool. In the wild, in a New York. Quality cool. A wild channel <laughs> in JFK. I don't remember giving them our name and likeness using this magazine. Me, you? Exactly. being transformed into a decent human being. <laughs> what plane? I didn't get off no plane. I'm hydrated. <laughs> this is the vibe, got my hair and makeup done, got this dress, the spanks are an issue because you can see them through the slate. You can see my underwear, you can see everything. It's just a chaotic situation we're trying to remedy right now. So I told Kyle that I'm wearing nipple covers, but it's so cold that my nipples are still hardening under the covers. <laughs> and so I'm just like, uh, really what you talking about, what you talking about? What's going on, boo? Oh, you know, so I'm wearing a dress with no underwear, with spanks, and no bra with nipple cover. So we just like, how you gonna put this mic pack on? You gonna staple it to my thigh? Or what's going on? <laughs> I'm so cool. Got the hunchback in Notre Dame. You can't return this dress because my nips gonna slit two slits in this mother ever right now. Tell you this right now. I'm about to read some poetry. I just wanna do a good job, Baruki. Honestly, this is her passion project. She's worked so hard on it. I know she has, so I'm trying to go out there, nail all the cues, and do my goddamn thing. So the issue is the dress is too thin, and you can literally see, like, you can literally see the <laughs> the circle of my nipple but then I can't take it off because it's real cold out here. So I have zero options. My spikes you see right there. <laughs> I'm out here putting on a show for Ruby Ruby. Y'all better buy this book right here. I'm out here doing the most for this poetry. Okay, I think I found a solution. Are you ready? <laughs> Come on, right? <laughs> Actually, they don't, they don't show up that much on here. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like inappropriate, I'm just being real with y'all ladies. Like this is like, well, honestly, there should be, well, how is this not a salute? So what's happening, there's five girls plus Ruby. We're going out with our binders and we're each reading poems, segments of her new book, which is coming out when you're watching this today. You should definitely, I'm not just saying this because she's my friend. Her first book was like on the bestsellers list for basically a lifetime, like 30 something weeks. It is crazy. It's called Milk and Honey. Like Beyonce tweeted about it. I'm gonna kill it. Like, everyone and their mothers was like, this book is my Bible. It's coming out today and I'm so, just honored to be reading and we have a binder on all the points we're gonna read and the poems I'm reading are a little bit a little bit a little bit spicy I'll read you one your voice does to me what autumn does to trees you call to say hello and my clothes fall naturally I'm number one fan. I just need to point this out right now. We killed it. She freaking did that. I already told you to get the book. It comes out today when you're watching this. You just need to do yourself a favor, improve your life, get the book. Just do the thing. Just do the thing. Straight the F up. Rupee is my role model. She's straight up my role model. Sorry, I'm just loving Rupee. I just closed the door. I just closed the door. Rupee is my role model. She memorized like pages and pages and pages and performed them so well, so rhythmic. Like I just, no words I say right now will express how impressed I am and how inspired I am by her. All of her poems are dope. Some of them spoke so to me and I was just like, this girl out here telling my life story. And She's such a good performer. Oh, I'm so inspired. I bro, goals. She's go Rupee's goals. All right, now we're heading to this VIP thing. I'm like, I have no clothes to wear. I'm just gonna wear these boy jeans. Everyone else gonna be wearing dresses and grab and be like, yeah, what's up? I'm a man. But of course, I can't go to New York without doing one thing. Stand by. Oh, I was vlogging. Yo, do you remember from book tour? Do you know who this is? Emily, who we all got so many Twizzlers for? Hi, Tina. We're reunited. Do you miss Tina? I really do. You do, right? <laughs> Nice too. She's got the nicest things. I always see the replies from her. All of them. Hi. Look who it is. Oh my god. 
Welcome to Corinthia. Of course, yeah. I had to visit you. I know you just moved here. I think it was meant to be. Like you coming here is for me. And you know, I don't, I don't enjoy coming here very often. But now that you're here, I had to. How was class? How class is good? I thought you treated me like. So Cal, how was the event? Great. Yeah, so Cal has a really big crush on Rupee, guys. It's a real thing. He's like in love. And last time we went out to lunch with Rupee, she's like, oh, I love Kyle. I told him he died. And today, they took a picture together in Kyle's face during it. It was so cute. How do you feel about Rupee? What do you think? I am in love with her. He had tears in his eyes. Literal tears in his eyes. That's your month's pay right there, home. It knows your work benefits right there, home. Like, you don't need no dental. You don't need nothing, okay? <laughs> Those are the benefits right there, home. Look at him. He's squirming like a little schoolboy. <laughs> she was like, we took a photo together. And she's like, let's make it sexy. And I was like, <laughs> by all means, will I do that for you, girl? Just released my new video. Give me the points. Doing super 60. Give me the points. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, I have so much makeup on my face. I should probably wash it. Uh, let's see how we did today. Toilet top with Lily. Such a productive day. I had such a good time with Rupi. She is such just an inspiration. If you've never read her stuff, I highly recommend you get it. I know I've said this a million times in the vlog, but truly, I'm not just saying because she's my friend. Like you will feel you it's just food for your soul. It's so so good. Tomorrow morning I have a photo shoot. And then we're heading back to LA. Very short trip. And until then, this is where productivity lives and toilets that are fine as F. My toilet finer than your toilet. <laughs> if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Baby, you gonna cuddle with me tonight? Hell no, we got two beds for a reason, ho. <laughs> we did get two beds for a reason. And the heat's next to this one, and Kyle's over here. I'm gonna ask when we, as soon as you fall asleep, ho, you best believe I'm gonna turn this place to a sauna. Okay? I know. You best take these clothes off Wait, right now to prep yourself right now. <laughs>